This webisode is brought to you by Nestle Wellness. Choose wellness. Choose Nestle. So right now, I'm going to teach you guys how to properly paddle your surfboard. Now remember, surfing is 90% paddling. So you want to make sure that when you paddle, you maximize each stroke and you don't waste any energy so you don't get tired too fast, okay? So let's start off with the most critical thing in paddling and that is proper paddling position. Now remember, if you're on a surfboard in paddle position and you're too forward like I am right now, you'll notice that if you get into the water in this position, the nose will sink into the water. Paddling this way will be too hard because you'll have too much drag stopping the surfboard. You'll get tired right away and actually trying to catch a wave in this position is quite dangerous because if the wave picks you up from the back, you're gonna nose dive and that's really painful. Now, if you're too far back with your feet hanging off the back of the tail on this surfboard, you're gonna have too much drag again. The nose of the surfboard is gonna be too high up and it's gonna be really hard to paddle. Make sure that you've got your toes on the tail. Make sure that your toes are just right over here. Next tip, make sure that you're centered on the surfboard. I want you to imagine a line from the nose dead center extending all the way down the center of the board down to the tail, okay? You wanna align your, your nose, your spine, and both your feet always together on the surfboard. You wanna position your back high up. Arch your back high up, your chest off the surfboard. What does this do? If you have your shoulders down and you paddle in this position, you'll notice that it's gonna be harder to lift your arms over the water. If you have your back arched up with your chest off the board, you have a nice view, good vantage, and when you paddle, it's easier to lift your arms out of the water. When you paddle the surfboard, you wanna reach as far out as you can, stretch out one arm at a time, and dig as deep as you can in the water. Your hand should travel alongside the rail of the surfboard. Sometimes your hand can even go a bit under the surfboard. From here, extend your other arm forward, and in a fluid motion, paddle alternately. So next up, I'm gonna teach you guys how to pop up on a surfboard. Now, there are several ways you can pop up on a surfboard. I'm gonna show you a few ways, very effective and accurate ways how to do it. Now, before popping up on a board, you have to know if you're a natural footer or a goofy footer. Natural footers have their left foot in front and their right foot at the back. Goofy footers have their right foot in front and their left foot at the back. Let's start off with the first one. This is called the step up. From paddle position, once you catch the wave, Put your hands under the shoulders, right here, okay? Just right here in the shoulders, so you can effectively lift your upper body off the surfboard. Next, make sure your toes are tiptoeing on the tail of the surfboard like this. So from pointed, you wanna tiptoe, and then lift your knees off the board. Next is you wanna lift your whole body off the board, lift your knees up, put your back foot at the beginning of the sweet spot. You can tell your, your back foot's on the sweet spot because your knee can actually touch the heel of your opposite foot. Then, look in between your hands and aim for your front foot to go there. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to slide. Slide up on the surfboard, okay? If you have good upper body strength and you can slide up on a surfboard, this is better than stepping up on the board. You can catch a wave um, later than usual and you can get up faster. So from here, paddle into the wave, catch it. Hands under the shoulders again. Slide your body up and stand. Last is the jump up. Now the jump up is a little more critical. You can make a lot of mistakes doing this. I don't recommend this for newbies, but eventually once you get more used to, to riding boards and, and popping up on surfboards and taking off on bigger waves, jumping up can be a really good thing because you can take off really late on a wave and get on your board really quick. So jumping up on a board, Starts off with you, hands under the shoulders, tiptoe, and jump up on the board really quick. Okay?
This webisode was brought to you by Nestle Wellness. Choose wellness. Choose Nestle.